President Trump yesterday uh, said he wasn't going to participate in a virtual debate with Joe Biden next week. But another presidential candidate says he'll fill in with us oh. now. Let's talk about uh, let's talk to and talk about the presidential candidate for the Green Party, Howie Hawkins. So, Howie, you're willing to step forward and step <laughs> in for Donald Trump in the Mon in the next in next week's debate in Miami. Yeah, I'm ready to debate both of them, but I'm not sure they're ready to debate me. I got some real issues to what? bring to the table. What are they? What issues do you have to bring to the table? Well, the Green New Deal. Uh, Joe Biden made it clear he's not for it. I was the first candidate to campaign for it here in the United States in 2010. It's been the signature issue of the Green Party through the last decade. Democrats took the slogan, but then they diluted the content, and now they buried it. And we got a climate crisis that's continuing. And then we got declining life expectancies among working class people in this country. Because after 45 years of stagnant wages, health care and housing costs going through the roof. So we got an economic bill of rights as part of our Green New Deal, which includes a job guarantee, a guaranteed income above poverty, and Medicare for all. And then the third life or death issue that's not being discussed at all is this new nuclear arms race. The bullets in the atomic sign says they're doomsday clock, the closest they've ever had at midnight. So we're calling for peace initiatives to reduce tensions and get back on track on nuclear disarmament, because those weapons should never be used, because it'll be the end of all of us. So those are life or death issues. And I think, you know, we're on the ballot on 30 states. That's uh, 381 electoral votes. You count the write-ins. We're 514 out of a possible 538 electoral votes. I think the American people should have had the opportunity to hear what we bring to the table. So, yeah, I'm willing to Mr. step Hoffman. in. Yeah. Mr. Hawkins, it's Willie Geist. Good to have you on this morning. I, I know a long list of people who probably agree with you on every issue you just laid out right there. They think that Joe Biden is a neoliberal. They support the Green New Deal. They want to pull back on military engagement. Would agree with you across the board. But this year, they say this election is too important. I can't waste my vote on a Green Party candidate. They'll bring up Jill Stein's name. Of course, she got more votes in Michigan and Wisconsin than was the difference in the election in those states could have swung the entire election. So what do you say to those people who say, not this year, Mr. Hawkins, we need every vote we can get on the Democratic side? Well, we're a second front against Trump. We're a stronger anti-Trump vote. And in a state like New York, Biden has been consistently 25 points ahead of Trump and since late August over 30 points. So the question for progressives who agree with these policies is, how are you going to vote against Trump? You vote for Biden and you're for a Green New Deal and Medicare for all. You're actually voting against those things. You vote for the green ticket. You're telling whoever gets elected, that's what you want. You're not getting lost in the sauce. You're actually giving voice to your policies. And also in New York State, and this is true for us around the country in 40 of the 50 states, whether the Green Party has a ballot line for the next election cycle depends on our presidential vote. So in New York, the Democrats got a bill passed under the cover of the COVID pandemic attached to the state budget that triples the number of votes we need to maintain our ballot. It's now 2% uh, of the total vote. So that's another reason to give us a vote in New York so we can run candidates up and down the ballot going forward. All right. All right. Green Party presidential candidate Howie Hawkins, thank you very much for being on the show with us this morning. Well, really and, appreciate you it. You know, uh, Willie, a very good question that you asked about the Green Party. Were it not for Ralph Nader in 2000 uh, and Jill Stein in 2016, it is quite likely that a Republican would have never held uh, the White House. Uh, in the 21st yeah. century, that I mean, yeah. that really those two Green Party candidates were the difference. And and just think about that. Uh, Democrats would have held the White House for the past 16 years were it not for candidates uh, taking away from Al Gore in in 2000. And you have to assume that Gore would have likely gotten reelected in 04 and then taking away from Hillary Clinton in 2016. Yeah, and that's a message we've, by the way, heard from Bernie Sanders himself, whose liberal uh, credentials are in no question whatsoever. He said to his supporters, I know we don't agree with Joe Biden on everything. I know he doesn't go as far as we would go on some of these issues, 
but this election is too important. You've got to go out and support the candidate. So an important message from Bernie Sanders. But to Mr. Hawkins, again, I think a lot of people would ask. And again, I'm citing people who agree with him on everything he just said, who would say we can't yeah. afford to waste a single vote this year. Well, he also talks about cutting the military by 75 percent. That would be a well, dream right. for Not Vladimir that. Putin, President Xi, and right. so many other people. Really quickly. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube. And make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.